Hello Booktube. It's time. The shortlist for the Woman's Prize for Fiction has either just been announced or it's just about to be announced. I have Nell with me here in the room. Say hello Nell. Hello Nell. Nell is going to tell me what the shortlist is. I'm going to have a guess of it. Reminder, I've got a whole shortlist prediction video where I review every book on the long list in detail. And in that video I predicted it would be any six of eight books. Those books were I'm a Fan, Black Butterflies, The Marriage Portrait, Demon Copperhead, Glory, Wandering Souls, Fire Rush, and The Bandit Queen. So I think it'd be any six of eight, but I picked that Demon Copperhead and The Bandit Queens would be the two to make way in my six. Nell? Do you have the list? Not yet. It might be a couple of minutes late. We might be in here twiddling our thumbs. And, uh, thumb yours, Will. What does that mean? I thought you didn't know. So currently we don't have a short list. We have reacted too soon. My current reaction is it's two minutes late. I wonder how late it will be. I wonder if I'll have to go and get the charger. That, that will be the... Have we got it? What's your first guess? Well, the book that I am most confident of to make the short list is Sheena Patel's I'm a Fan. No. Wow. She said in her novel that books like that get longlisted for book prizes, but they don't win them. That's an appalling decision, Woman's Prize. I think Black Butterflies will be there. Yes. Yay. I didn't pick it, but I think everybody is suspecting it. Did Demon Copperhead make it? Yes. Yeah, it's kind of feeling a bit like that, did it? All right. Did Fire Rush make it? Yes. Oh, that's good. Did Glory make it? Oh. Uh, did the Bandit Queens make it? No. Did Wandering Souls make it? Oh, I'm, su I'm really surprised Wandering Souls mixed out. So I only got three of my guesses. Exactly random. Let's go for the terrible ones. Did Pod make it? I thought Pod might make it once it became clear that terrible books made it. Okay, so I could see the argument for Pod. It's incorrect, but I can see the argument. Did the Dog of the North make it? No. Oh, thank goodness. I reckon Cursed Bread's made it then. Nope. Stoneblind? No. Trespassing? Trespasses, yes. Oh, Trespasses. <laughs> I'm always getting that one wrong. And so then we've got one more. It's Homesick. Oh, it's Memphis. No. I would have thought that you did this. What's the one that I've missed? Oh, I thought I guessed that. Oh, so I got four of the eight that I, I said it was from. So we've got Marriage Portrait and Demon Copperhead. We've got Black Butterflies, Fire Rush, Trespasses, Trespasses and, Pod. and Pod. I feel like this is a bit of a beige. Beige? Oh, I, I don't feel like anything out there is on this list. I feel like this is a real safe, boring... I don't know, Pod sounds pretty out there. Oh, no, read it. It's not. I, I don't plan. Making a dolphin a protagonist does not make you an interesting book. Oh, I'm... This is all filler, in my opinion. I guess... I guess Demon Copperhead is going to win the prize this year, like everybody is suggesting. There's... I think you really liked Black Butterflies. I did really like Black Butterflies. That is what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping will win now. I really like Black Butterflies, but it, it is a miserable book about a war. You know, it is, it is very much catered to me and it delivered it. Mm, I feel very uneasy. At least Dog of the North didn't make it. At least they didn't give themselves the best long list to make a good short list. But I feel like this, I feel like this isn't valuing the innovation that I value in literature. So yeah, I, um, I don't, I just don't think that 2023 has been as good as 2022 or 2021. I'm sorry. And, uh, I hope that we can have a return to form next year because there's just a lack of... It's just so safe. It's too safe for me. Oh, well. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you disagreed with my not-quite-lukewarm reaction. It's not as bad as last year's Booker shortlist. 